working application, something that uh, displays a hello world. Um, what we're going to do is um, add this to GitHub. So if you've never used GitHub before, it's a place you can store all of your code. And it's also a place where you can um, have collaborators work on your code. And you can download your code in any sort of application instance, or you can download on your other machines if you want to work on it. And you can do pushes and pulls from the cloud. Anyway, um, we're going to upload what we currently have kind of as a save state, and we're going to upload it to our GitHub account. So what we want to do on here is let's make a new GitHub repository. Let's call it character sheet fifth. Um, I'm going to make this public just so you guys can see it. You don't need to read me or anything. And since we already have an existing folder, let's just go ahead and do this. So in our terminal, let's close out of the application. Just run those. Um, probably need to get in it. Okay, so then we copy the paste of that. Hopefully this should look a bit like our folder. Um, let's go ahead and do a git add. So this is gonna add with a period and that adds all the folders currently in this file. But before we do that, actually, let's um, go ahead and make a git ignore. Since a lot of our package dependencies are in this node modules folder, and this will be um, pulled in this is a kind of a big full, big file. We don't want to host this all in the cloud since these are all um, modules that are being updated and managed by other people. So we don't want to have that in our repository. So what we want to do is we want to create a git ignore file. And that looks just like this. And we want to tell it what, fi what files to not look at. So we, we have a package lock JSON that gets generated when we run uh, npm install, we don't want that. So let's go ahead and remove that. So let's do node modules. Let's do package lock.json. And going forward, we're going to integrate Firebase into this. So let's go ahead and get our source. This going to be a file called our Firebase config, which is going to contain some private information that we don't want available to the public. Um, so let's just go ahead and add that in here so we don't need to worry about it later. So now that we know what folders to ignore, we can go back into our terminal and say, hey, let's add all the files we... Oops. Not what I want. Let's just add all the files um, to our current git status. You can see status. These are all the files even though I told it to ignore node modules, it's still doing it. Let's figure out what's going on with that. Ah, that's a problem. Okay, let's try to, try to get removed all. Well, that's not it. Well, <laughs> let's try this again. Well, we want to get reset. Let's do an add all and then look at the status. It's still uh, looking at all those. Um, should be ignoring this stuff. Oh, I did not save. So, set at all. That should show us basically the files we worked on in our first video. Um, the webpack config, index, all of our stuff. Now that we want to want to add that, we can commit it. Say first code commit. You can put any meaningful message you want in here. Um, and then once we have that committed, and you type git push, you can see it will push it to the cloud. Then we can go ahead and access this from any um, 
any machine, and we can actually share and add collaborators on Git. If you don't know how to set up Git and add, um, install it in the command line or have a Git account, go ahead and maybe watch some other tutorials about how to do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and here we have our folder structure and our files that we made. So um, thanks for watching again. Um, I'll have some more videos coming forward with the uh, components we're adding, some functionality, and some actually cool stuff. I'm hoping to get some React hooks in here and also some store management, state management, however we want to work with it um, coming up. So thanks for watching.